Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on the background studio magic. I'm going to show you the paper action on this image. I will upload other tutorials working on the other image on the other actions um, on different images. So I'm going to play it um, to show you what happens and what to do, where to go from when the action has played it does take a while to play and that's because there's so much involved this action is not <laughs> guaranteed to work on every single image that is because the action uses select subjects in photoshop so if that feature does not select your subject perfectly then it's not going to work for every single image it's not the action it's just the way that photoshop selects your subjects however it does work for the majority of the images sometimes there's no adjustments need to be made sometimes there is a, a little bit of adjustment sometimes a little bit more so i'm showing you in real time how long it takes to play so apologies for any coughing that i may do i've had this cough for such a long time So as I said, it is doing a lot of things. It's removing the background, it's smoothing the background, getting rid of any banding. It's doing a lot. So if your computer is a bit slower, this may take a little bit longer. So it's been running for around a minute and a half now. my computer is running quite slow at the minute it's got a lot on that i need to get off <laughs> so once i get those files off there we go so that is what has happened to the image now as you can see we've completely lost the floor um if i turn that off we've lost some of the fabric but around here looks pretty good to me so what i'm going to do i've got 50 percent opacity on my brush I'm on my black brush and I'm going to bring some of that floor back I'm going to click to bring all of that fabric back so we can't leave it like that obviously so I'm going to switch to my white brush I'm going to stay at 50% for now and I'm just going to mask along this line on the back line here so as you can see, I'm using a nice big brush so we get that nice feather. And I'm going around to about here. Then I'm going to switch my brush to 30% and I'm going to start bringing that in because I just want this little bit of flow faded out. If you see in the original edit, this image is completely unedited by the way. It's, it was a, this is literally on a... Um, straight out of camera and then I'm going to switch to my black brush and you can see where I've just gone over there so I'm just going to switch uh, mask that over I'm staying at 30% and I'll just keep clicking until I'm happy with the amount I'm going to turn it off and on and I am pretty happy with that let's just take a little bit off there you could even extend it out a little bit more if you wanted to um but i'm quite happy with it like that to be honest let's get to 20 percent. there we go and then you can notice that there's a little bit of flaw in her dress now that's because in a skirt sorry that is because the action selected that part of the skirt so what was underneath it has not moved so you can make a background layer so new layer then shift option command and e for egg or shift control alt and e if you are windows and you can just use your clone tool i'm going to switch to 50 percent opacity i'm going to hold alt and select from there and i'm just going to mask it down just like that and then add a layer mask go to your black brush at 100 percent and mask off around where we've gone over to the background or over here 
Okay, I'll group those together. I'll turn that off and on. I'm going to add a layer mask because as you can see that is that there is that little area there. However, I don't want to bring it all back. So I'm going to switch to my black brush at 20% opacity. And I'm just going to mask that down. So it did take a minute to run, but can you imagine how long it would have took to remove all of this background? So there we go, before and after. Hope this helps.